is thin here in the Mile High City, but the enthusiasm is quite heavy. The stage is set. This arena will come alive in just a matter of hours. And the headliner tonight is Michelle Obama. Also on center stage, we'll be seeing Caroline Kennedy, and she'll be introducing a tribute to her uncle, uh, Senator Ted Kennedy, who is suffering from brain cancer. There is some word that if the doctor said it was okay, he just might make a surprise appearance here, and rest assured, they won't be a dry eye in this room tonight for the patriarch of the, of the Kennedy family coming here. And that will be the beginning of this convention. History in the making here in Denver this week. Be exciting, Marvin. How's Joe Biden playing out with the Democrats, uh, the de delegates at the Democratic convention? Well, we spoke to a number of the delegates, uh, particularly those arriving from New York. There'll be 361 uh, New York uh, members of the New York delegation, those are the delegates and the alternates, and they seem to be quite high on the Biden choice. They uh, they said that this man is 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 part of a winning team. I spoke to uh, Senator Frank Lautenberg of uh, New Jersey. We were on the same flight coming out of here, and he said he's a bulldog. He's been in the Senate. This man has the experience. He is perfect. The number two man on a ticket, and yes, as uh, Senator Obama said he needed the choice, a man who can step into the presidency at a moment's notice. And Joe Biden is that man. He is experienced in foreign policy. He has international background. But also there are some, particularly the Republicans, who say that only points out the liabilities of Senator Obama because he lacks that experience. But it, it's somewhat of a, a situation like uh, George Bush and, uh, and Cheney. So uh, overall, it's uh, a favorable response here. Everyone is energized. They're looking Looking forward to a hearing from uh, Joe Biden. He speaks on Wednesday night and Thursday night, of course, uh, we'll hear from the nominee uh, at Invesco Field, which is right next door. There'll be 75,000 people. This is the first time there are two venues at a convention since 1960 when John Kennedy was nominated in Los Angeles. He moved from one arena to the Coliseum to accept his nominating speech. It's going to be quite a show. Marvin, quick question. we got to talk about Senator Clinton. We know she's there this morning. What are Clinton supporters saying about their willingness to back Obama on this Obama-Biden ticket? Well, Suki, uh, Senator Kennedy is here this morning. Uh, I'll be heading over to uh, the Sheridan where the New York delegation is located. They have a breakfast, and she'll be making her first appearance in Denver. Uh, there is some discontent. Uh, basically, uh, more than half of her delegates uh, say they're okay with the Joe Biden selection. About 20 percent say they're so fed up they just may vote for uh, 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 John McCain. Uh, however, the feeling more not... Uh, her not being selected, but more the fact that she wasn't part of the vetting process, uh, that she wasn't given more consideration. They didn't ask for financial records. Uh, there are some folks who say that may have been a very uh, positive for her because if they vetted her, they also would have had to vet Bill Clinton. And uh, he hasn't really given a full explanation uh, since he left office of the hundred million dollars he has earned and also the money that has gone to his library. So if there's any distress among uh, Clinton supporters, it's the fact that she wasn't given more serious consideration. She uh, will speak tomorrow night. Wednesday, the word is that she will meet with her supporters and she will release them from their commitment. However, for the sake of history, her name is expected to be entered in nomination on Wednesday night as the first woman to be nominated for president of a major party. All right, Marvin, great perspectives there. We look forward to your coverage from the Democratic National Convention in Denver. Thank you very much. All right, we also want to tell you that Republican candidate John McCain plans to unveil his choice for a running mate on Friday, the morning after the Democrat convention ends. The GOP convention begins in St. Paul, Minnesota, one week from today. We're going to have much more on the Democratic National Convention. Stay tuned right here to the CW11 Morning News. Both